Hello, you're watching the Auto Advisor channel. Imagine this, you've just invested in a shiny new electric vehicle, but within a few years you're facing the grim reality of a dwindling battery life. This, my friends, is the electric car battery dilemma, a common yet overlooked issue that can turn the dream of owning an electric car into a bit of a nightmare. When we think about electric cars, we often envision a world free of oil changes and fuel stops. But what about the battery life? It's a significant concern for potential electric vehicle owners. After all, no one wants to be left stranded with a dead battery, right? This concern does more than just create anxiety. It can also deter people from making the switch to electric vehicles. Despite the many benefits of electric cars, the fear of a rapidly declining battery life can cast a shadow over the prospect of owning one. So what exactly causes this rapid decline in electric car battery life? To understand why these batteries fail, we first need to delve into what they're made of. At the heart of an electric car lies its battery. The most common type of battery used in these vehicles is the lithium-ion battery. So what exactly is a lithium-ion battery? Let's break it down. Think of it as a sandwich. The bread slices are the two electrodes, an anode and a cathode. The anode is typically made of graphite, while the cathode is often a lithium metal oxide. The filling, or the electrolyte, is a lithium salt in an organic solvent. This sandwich is wrapped in a protective casing, keeping the components safe and the electrical current flowing. But how does this battery power an electric car? It's all about the movement of lithium ions. When you plug in the vehicle to charge, lithium ions move from the cathode to the anode, storing energy in the process. When you drive, this process is reversed, with the lithium ions moving back to the cathode, releasing the stored energy to power the vehicle. The beauty of lithium ion batteries lies in their efficiency. They have a high energy density, meaning they can store a large amount of energy in a relatively small space. They also have a low self-discharge rate, so they retain their charge for longer periods compared to other types of batteries. However, they're not without their drawbacks. Over time, the constant movement of lithium ions can cause the anode and cathode to degrade, reducing the battery's capacity. Additionally, high temperatures can cause the electrolyte to break down, a process known as thermal runaway, which can lead to battery failure. Now that we understand the makeup of these batteries, let's explore what can lead to their downfall. There are several factors that contribute to the rapid failure of an electric car battery. Firstly, let's talk about temperature extremes. Both sweltering heat and freezing cold can be battery killers. High temperatures can cause the battery's electrolyte to evaporate, leading to internal structural damage. On the other hand, cold temperatures can slow down the chemical reactions within the battery, reducing its ability to deliver power. Next up, overcharging. Charging your electric car battery beyond its maximum capacity can lead to a condition called thermal runaway. This essentially means that the battery gets so hot it starts to break down its own structure, shortening its lifespan dramatically. It's like filling a water balloon beyond its limit. Eventually, it's going to pop. Then we have high discharge rates. This is essentially the electric car equivalent of flooring the gas pedal in a traditional vehicle. High discharge rates put a lot of stress on the battery, causing it to heat up and potentially damaging its internal components. It's like running a marathon without any training. Sure, you might make it to the finish line, but you'll be a wreck by the end. Lastly, age. Just like us, batteries get tired as they get older. Over time, the repeated charging and discharging cycles can lead to the buildup of lead sulfate crystals, which can hinder the battery's performance. It's like a runner's knees wearing out over time. Eventually, they just can't keep up the pace anymore. So we see that a variety of factors, including temperature extremes, overcharging, high discharge rates, and age can all contribute to the rapid failure of an electric car battery. It's not just a simple matter of how many miles you've driven or how many years you've owned the car. It's a complex interplay of various elements, each taking a toll on your battery's health. So is it more cost effective to replace the battery or buy a new car? This is a question that many electric car owners grapple with, and the answer might not be as straightforward as you think, but we'll delve into that in the next scene. The question of whether to replace the battery or buy a new car is not one size fits all. 
It's a choice that's entangled with a web of variables. Let's untangle it a bit, shall we? Firstly, the cost. Replacing a battery can be a substantial investment, often running into several thousands dollars. Yet it's typically less than the cost of a brand new electric vehicle. Secondly, the age of the car. If your sleek machine is relatively young and in good condition, a battery replacement could breathe new life into it. On the other hand, the cost of new models might sway your decision. If the latest electric cars on the market are more efficient, more advanced, and within your budget, buying new could be the way to go. But remember, this is a personal decision, influenced by your circumstances, preferences, and financial situation. As technology advances, however, the future of electric car batteries looks promising. With advancements in technology, the future of electric car batteries is bright. Looking ahead, two major trends are set to revolutionize the industry. First up, solid-state batteries. This new breed of power source promises to deliver higher energy density and greater safety than the current lithium-ion batteries, potentially extending the life of electric car batteries and reducing the need for replacements. Next, we have battery recycling programs. As the number of electric cars on the road increases, so too does the need for a sustainable way to dispose of their batteries. Enter battery recycling, a process that recovers valuable materials from spent batteries for reuse in new ones. This not only reduces the environmental impact of electric cars, but also lowers the cost of battery production. While the battery life of an electric car may currently pose a challenge, the future holds a wealth of exciting possibilities.